This video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball's app makes it easy to keep up to date with transfer news, scores and stats all in the one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. The app is free. Had a few hours to digest this one. Wofford won Everton nil in the worst game of football I think I've ever seen in my life. Now I've seen some of the corkers from last year, some of the corkers from this year. This could pit the lot. It was utterly dreadful. There was zero quality from either team. Just they got lucky. They didn't get lucky because they deserved to win. Because we were dreadful, but by lucky I mean they got lucky how bad we were. Because I think a half decent team wins them 2 3 0. Because they didn't offer much themselves in the first half. They were going quite deep and defensive. And so what we were doing, we were the same old passing routine that goes from left to right to right to left. Goes nowhere quick. And then we lose the ball and the other team breaks. Gets a set piece and scores. R rinse and repeat. Because, look, people can say what they will about John Joe Kenny, Tom Davis. But I know what I'm going to get from them. 100% effort, commitment. And they, they try and put themselves about on the pitch. I look at some of other, other of our players <coughs> and they don't look bothered in the slightest. It doesn't. It won't concern them getting beat there today. It doesn't bother them. But it will concern the likes of Tom, Tom Davis and John Joe Kenny and I thought they were the pick of the bunch for Everton today without having to do much because the rest of them were all such rubbish. Cheng Toast in the front. Um, he's rubbish, but... I'm not going to blame Chang Tosin because I don't think he gets enough chances. He don't create anything for him. And then he's feeding enough scraps, but he doesn't put himself about at all. Gilfie Sigurdsson. <sighs> he's become a, got become a broken record on this fella now. And then the manager's just having even more baffling putting him on back on the left wing before Ronald Koeman had come back at one point today seeing that um, line-up. What I found even more strange about that one is that we're, we're not even short on quality on that left-hand side. Richarlison's best position's there. Luckman can play there. Bernard can play there. Even Walcott could play there. But he puts Gilvy Sigurdsson on the left wing. I just don't get the logic in playing Gilvy Sigurdsson at all anyway. But left wing, it just baffles me. I like the 4-3-3. Three, three. I have to admit that. Richarlison's not a right winger. He got bullied by their, their left-back. Oh, game was just pathetic. Oh, it's a pathetic one. Tosin doesn't create anything. Davis played well. Garner, I didn't know notice he was on the pitch, to be honest, but has a go. Gomez, go. he has a go again, but there's no, no quality from anyone at the moment. It's become a really big worry from, for me. That there's no quality and we can't defend. It's very, very reminiscent of that. Man, this team though just looks so unfit, disorganised, and so beatable. I don't want to say the writing's on the wall for the manager, but with performances like that, eight defeats in what 11, 12 games, it's going to come to its, its end soon for him if he doesn't start. Improving, and I don't even know if he'll get that chance. I'm being honest. I don't think he will be t be able to turn it around. I don't. I don't think he's he'll be he's gonna turn it around or ever. It's as simple as that. I don't. I've been one of his biggest defenders on here for many weeks now, saying look at these players. But I put it on the manager today because putting Gilfie on the left wing just sends out all the wrong messages. I chase Cooman for him. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not going to treat Marco Silva any differently. That will kill me. Um, Zuma, we got sent off. Not bothered. People say what they want, but I'm not a care Zuma fan. He's probably the best of our defenders, but it's just symptomatic of how bad our defenders are if he's at the best. Keane. Dini had the beaten of him. I'm sorry, but he did. John Joe played well, Pickford, par Pickford performance. 
their fans, you know what, and moan about them, call them tin pot or whatnot. But they were really loud today. They really put themselves about and let themselves be known about what their appealing opinions were on Richarlison and Marco Silva. Fair play to them. Abby Grassi here, he's better than you. <laughs> anyway, we're off to Cardiff in 17 days time for another 2-1 defeat or 2-0 or 3-0. It could be any score, couldn't it? They're playing well. We're rubbish. Let's see what happens. Bye.